Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the knapsack problem and we are going to discuss the greedy solution to the knapsack problem. So first, let's try to understand the knapsack problem. So in this problem, as input, you have n items. So you have n items as input. Now each of these n items has a weight that is w1, w2, all the way up to wn. So each of these n items has a weight and each of them has a value as well. That is v1, v2, all the way up to vn. So for item i, you have weight wi and value vi. Now what do we want? So you have, let's assume that you have a knapsack or a bag capacity capital W okay so you have a knapsack of size W and you want to carry out as many items as you can such that the value is maximized so the classic motivation for this problem is that a thief enters a bank and in that bank there are these n items these items have a particular weight and a value and the, the thief has gone into the bank with a bag which has a capacity w now that is the maximum weight that the thief can carry out from the bank so the thief wants to carry out a subset of items such that the value is maximized so what is the output the output of this problem is a subset s of items such that The value is maximized. So we maximize the value. So you add all the values of the items that you carry out in the subset S, but you have a constraint that the weight of all these items should not exceed the capacity of the knapsack. And you want to find that subset S, which maximizes this solution. That's what you want to do. Now, there are two versions of this problem. Okay, so this is the knapsack problem. So there are two versions. The first one is a zero one knapsack problem. Okay, so the first problem that we're going to study is the zero one knapsack. Now, in the zero one knapsack, what you can do is you can either take an item or leave it. So you can take an item or leave it. You cannot take a, a portion of an item. Take a portion of the item. So you cannot take a small fraction of that item. Either you have to take the entire item or you have to choose not to take it. So that is a zero one knapsack problem. Now, the other problem that you have is called the fractional knapsack problem. In the fractional knapsack problem, so the fractional knapsack, the items, you can take a portion of that item or a small fraction of that item. Okay, Instead of making a binary choice, binary choice you can take a fraction of the items of any item okay so the way to understand this is the thief goes into the bank and in the zero one knapsack case you have items gold bars, diamonds, and rubies. So you have these items, either you take a ruby or you have to leave it. Now for the fractional knapsack case, you have gold dust, silver dust. So you can take a fraction of this because it's a dust. So you can take as much as you want okay so 
So what is the problem? There are n items and each item has a weight and a value and you want to carry a subset of these items such that the value is maximized. And the constraint that you have is you have a fixed capacity for your knapsack, which is capital W. Okay, so now let's try to solve this problem. So in this video, we're going to, going to talk about greedy algorithms. So we're going to talk about a greedy algorithm to solve this, these problems. Now, we will see that the greedy algorithm will lead the optimal solution for the fractional knapsack. So the, we are going to talk about greedy algorithms. I'll read optimal for fractional knapsack. And it will not eat lead suboptimal solution for zero one knapsack. Now for the zero one knapsack, the solution is to use dynamic programming, which we will cover in a later video. So let's, we will just talk about the greedy solution and then we'll look at a case to understand why it is suboptimal for the zero one knapsack and why it is optimal for the fractional knapsack. So, so what is a greedy algorithm? So if you, or this is the first time that you're encountering a greedy algorithm, the greedy algorithms are very simple. So there is always a greedy choice. So you make a greedy choice. Now, just by their name, greedy algorithms, you have a bunch of options and you take that particular option or an action which looks best at that moment. So you take best action for the present. So at, the, at present, this is the best option or the best action to take and you take that action. Now, this may not be the best action to take in the long run, but that is why they sometimes don't yield the optimal solution, but it looks as the best option to take at this moment. Now, for the knapsack problem, what is the greedy choice? Now, the greedy choice, what we'll do is for each item i, we will compute, compute the density, the density, which is, which is vi by w, i for each item and for each item you're going to compute vi by wi which is the density of that action okay of that item now you're going to pick items with maximum density first first so what you can do is once you've computed the density which is this one, you're going to sort these items and you're going to pick the item which has the maximum density. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. So for a zero one knapsack, it's, it's intuitive. You just pick the densest item first and then the next item and so on and so forth. And until you can't include any other items into the knapsack. Now for fractional knapsack, what this means is, for fractional knapsack, what this means is, Is the following you take as much as much as possible of the densest item that's what you do by densest i mean the item which has maximum value per pound or max value per pound or per kg so that's what the densest item that's what you take as much as possible okay once the item is exhausted you go to the next item move on to the next densest 
and this process you continue till you fill the knapsack mm. okay so you're just going to go on till you fill the knapsack okay now one thing you must realize is that in a zero one knapsack you may have some portion left because you fit some items with maximum density and then it just so happens that you cannot fit the other items so you may have some remaining capacity in the knapsack but for the fraction knapsack this is not likely to happen or this is not possible because you're just carrying dust right so you will be able to pack the knapsack completely so and this is an important thing to understand because this is what will lead you to to understand why the greedy will yield the optimal solution for the fractional knapsack case and will not yield the optimal solution for the zero one knapsack now that we've understood the algorithm let's look at a example okay so let's assume that you have three items okay so this is item one it has a weight of 10 and a value of 60 dollars the second item has a weight of 20 and a value of 100 this is item 2 now then you have item 3 with this has a weight of 30 and a value of 120 okay. and your total capacity for knapsack this is your knapsack you will have a capacity of 50 okay so this is your setting now let's try to find out what is the optimal solution so first let's consider zero one so zero one case okay so you can either take an item or you can leave it so it's not an option the items are such that you can only apply zero one knapsack okay so in this because it's 50 the, the optimal solution to carry the maximum value will be it's easy to pick items two and three so optimal is to pick two and three okay so we can pick you can stuff items two and three because this will give you 30 and 20 this is your capacity of your knapsack that's 50 and this will give you $120. This will give you $100. And in total, you will get $220. So that's great. Now let's see what happens in your greedy for your zero one knapsack. Now in greedy, what you will do, you will pick the densest item first. So the densest item, so I, so D1, which is the density of item one is, 60 d2 is 50 that's 100 divided by 20 and d3 is going to be 40 okay so in greedy in this case what you're going to do is you're going to pick 10 item number one which has a weight of 10 you're going to get 100 dollar return then what you can do when you're going to do is you're going to pick item number two which is going to have capacity of or weight of 20 is going to give you i'm sorry here this one is going to give you 60 and this is going to give you 100 okay now there is this capacity that's empty this one's empty so you can't carry item number three here simply because there is no capacity that's left in that knapsack okay because item three has a weight of 30 as you can see here okay so you can't carry that and hence you will have a total solution of 160. this is a good solution maybe implementable in practice but that's not the optimal solution so it is a solution which will give you a suboptimal solution. It will give you a solution that you can use if you are happy with it, but it's not the optimal solution. So now let's consider fractional knapsack. So assume that the items are such that you can carry 
portions of them out. In that case, you'll once again pick the densest item, which happens to be one. So you're gonna fill it as much as you can. So you're gonna 10, 10 here, you're gonna get $1.60. Then you're gonna fill item two, capacity will be 20, and you're gonna get $1.100. Now in the remaining 20, you're gonna get 20 out of the 30 of item three. And for that, you will get $1.80. And in this case, you're going to get, you're able to take out 240 which is the optimum. Now, note that the, the value that you can carry out using the fractional case is 240, while for the 0, 1 is 220, but they are not the same case. They are different problems in itself. In one, you can only carry out whole items, make a binary choice, Whereas in the fractional, you can carry out fractions of that item. So when there is, the, the thing that we have to understand is when we are allowed to carry out fractional quantities of the item, greedy will give you the optimal solution. Okay. Just a moment. The greedy will give you the optimal solution. This is also greedy, but it's for the fractional. So it'll give you the optimal solution. The reasoning is that there is, there is going to be no empty space in the fractional knapsack case. Now, for the zero one knapsack case, to get the optimal, we will use dynamic programming. And we will discuss this in our later video. With this, I'll conclude this video. Thank you for watching.